disgrace. We can resolve our differences non-violently. We need to get that fixed. Hello, everyone. Good to see you again. Also good to see you, uh, Vlad. My name is Anne-Marie Green, alongside Vlad Medici, as per usual. Vlad, it is a uh, he hearing palooza on Capitol Hill. Um, we have uh, uh, Judge Merrick's uh, hearing, confirmation hearing continues today, day two. I'm sure he'll be questioned. There are other confirmation hearings, and there, are, there is also a really interesting hearing into the events on January 6th. So begins the investigation, trying to figure out what went wrong, uh, what did law enforcement know, and when did they know it, and, uh, and you know why did things descend into chaos? So it's a pretty busy day. Yeah, it is a busy day. Uh, with regards to those investigations, um, I, I hope we get a chance uh, over the next couple of hours to uh, show our viewers Ben Tracy's package that he did for CBS this morning, where he talked to a young woman whose father has been radicalized um, by QAnon and took part in the Capitol insurrection on January 6th. And she's trying to understand how that happened, where it all went wrong, and uh, she's trying to reconcile with him, but the politics of what we've seen over the last couple of years has really become front and center of their relationship, and it, it's a fascinating piece um, as we begin to understand uh, the radicalization that has taken part uh, with some of these 200 plus people that have so far been arrested um, in the Capitol insurrection. And so, as you say, these hearings and this investigation will cover more details about that. As you mentioned also, Emery, with the hearings, uh, you know, Judge Merrick Garland was on the Hill yesterday. He's back uh, on the Hill this morning. Um, you know, there were some very pointed questions directed at him uh, from Democrats and, 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 and spe specifically Republicans, but not very, very tough. It does seem that he has bipartisan support from both sides of the aisle, and he will most likely become the nation's next attorney general. I thought it was curious that Senator Ted Cruz asked him about uh, polarization in the Justice Department from the Obama era. Uh, I don't know where Ted Cruz has been. Uh -huh. uh, no, actually, I do know where Ted Cruz has <laughs> been. Um, but in the last four years, there's been uh, a lot of that polarization um, uh, under the Trump administration as well. So, so that was probably the toughest questioning that he he had. Uh, and perhaps some also yes. interesting words from Tom Cotton. But we're going to dig into that because he's back on the Hill today. And as you say, Emory, the Senate yeah. is soon going to hold its first major public hearing on the security failures surrounding the deadly riot at the United States Capitol. Several former top officials and other police officers who responded to the insurrection will testify before lawmakers this morning. They are expected to face widespread criticism and questions over security lapses and intelligence failures leading up to the riot. Five people were killed, including Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick. We're also keeping a close eye on several key confirmation hearings. President Biden's Interior Secretary nominee, Deb Hallen, will testify before the Senate. She's expected to face tough questions on the administration's clean energy plan amid concerns over the economy and job security. And the president's pick to lead the Department of Health and Human Services, his name is Xavier Becerra, will also face lawmakers as the coronavirus crisis grips the country. Meanwhile, the Senate Judiciary Committee is set to wrap up its hearing on the nomination of Merrick Garland to become the next attorney general. We are also monitoring a House hearing featuring COVID-19 vaccine manufacturers. That is happening at 1030 a.m. Eastern. You're going to see top officials from Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca, Johnson & Johnson and others testify before lawmakers. Believe it or not, folks, we will be following all of these hearings <laughs> throughout the morning right here on CBSN and CBSNews.com and, of course, the free CBS News app, which Anne-Marie will tell you about some point later this morning. <laughs>